Look at these two. <laughs> oh no, everyone in our group is skinny dipping. And then Donald's just like sunbathing in his full clothes. Of course you are, Donald. You absolute weirdo. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of my Not So Berry Challenge. In the last episode we obviously found out that little Zakia is pregnant which is entirely unexpected to be honest. I wasn't planning for Zakia and Paul to have a baby this early and I wasn't even sure if we were going to stay with Paul because they're not even officially dating yet. However, I have thought about it and I'm not happy but I'm not upset about the situation. Obviously I would have liked if they waited a little bit longer at least until they were like official and maybe Paul had moved in if he was going to be the one that she wanted to be with. However our yellow generation does have to be close with the mint generation so I think for at least the first two generations the sooner we have babies the better in a sense. Um, so I'm not totally upset about it. Zakia also um, I don't know if she's told Paul yet, so we'll have a quick little look. She's completely satisfied from the woohoo. She's happy from eating from two. Thinking about her first kiss. Oh, they were cuddling in bed? I didn't see that. Okay, I can't tell if she's happy from the pregnancy or not, but she doesn't have a sad emote, so... Oh yeah, she's got the would be happy to be pregnant little emote here, so... I'm assuming she's not too upset about the whole situation and she's happy with it but we do need to get up soon and actually tell Paul what's going on and we need to decide whether he is going to be supportive and maybe if he is we'll want to ask him to move in to help out with the baby. Paul's obviously at uni at the moment and the last thing I want to do when playing the scientist career which is a career we have to actually go into work for um the last thing I want to be doing is also have a sim in university so depending how far he is into his degree i might just get him to quit uni and jump into the job um that he's at uni for instead because i'm gonna need someone to be home um and he's not my sim that i'm gonna be playing with like zakia is the <laughs> zakia is the mint sim so i really need to focus on hers first um so i think so since it's six o'clock now i am gonna get zakia up this morning and I'm gonna get her to come and share the news with Paul. I'm not sure if she has told him already or not. Okay so I'm just gonna use the pregnancy mod um, to ask if he wants children and then I'm also gonna just announce the pregnancy through this one. I have a feeling she probably already told him when she took the pregnancy test um, however I think I was unpaused for that this morning so I didn't see it. I'd be alright with having a child, I'd also be alright with not having a child. Okay, that's fair enough. Let's share the big news with him and we'll also tell him that he is the father of our child. Obviously this is Zakia's first Ruhu with anyone, so there's no way it would be anyone else's. So she's telling him right now that he is the father of her child. Oh, all is well. Zakia's partner took the news of the pregnancy rather well. They're open to having children and are glad to share this experience with Zakia. Oh, cute. So Paul's actually happy to um be a part of this experience and I think that I mean I don't know if they're gonna last the long haul but I think for now because they do and they are really into each other I'm gonna get her to come and ask him to be boyfriend and I'm also gonna ask him to move in with us oh yay cute all right they're dating now and we're also gonna ask him to move in with us I think it's the right thing to do um, because we'll need some help with the baby obviously and if things don't work out they can always decide to co-parent whatever they want but they're gonna try and work on their relationship yes okay oh crap they have a lot of money um who do we want we want Paul let's just take I don't know how much to take maybe like ten thousand Okay, so I've decided to take $11,000 from his household funds. I think that they had so much money in their household, I am assuming he would have some sort of income. So we'll definitely use that money to build the baby's room, but it wouldn't go, it's not going to go towards anything that Zakia needs for work, obviously. Um, she's only in trimester one at the moment, which is fine and she's feeling really great about the whole baby situation so I'm not going to have to get her to do any counselling or anything but I will try and keep her like doing exercises so she won't um so she stays like fit and healthy I think because of that I want to get her a little yoga mat okay so I've given Zakia a yoga mat over here she can't actually do anything because she's pregnant my bad but she can do some poses and I've also just given the 
future baby a little bit of a nursery it doesn't have much in it because it's not a toddler it's just a baby for now so we've just got a little crib um, a changing table and then a few little things for the wall like a little bookshelf and a chair that they can feed the baby in I don't know whether it's gonna be a girl or a boy at this stage and I'm not going to check um, for my Simpson Bloom series I always check but I'm not going to check this time because I actually really want this to be a surprise and I'm not bothered either way like normally I prefer to play with girls but I've got a really cool boy's name in mind for my red generation so I'm kind of hoping we have a boy but I'm gonna leave it up to the sims god and I'm also thinking they're probably gonna have more than one kid or Zakia will anyway so whatever happens happens this kid might not even be the next heir but if it is than it will be um so anyway i've just done that to the house zakia does have work in two hours so i'm just going to get her to finish her bath and then do a little bit of yoga this morning um and i also want to check out what's going on with paul over here he is not bad surprise paul's, paul's partner says paul is the father of their child what the heck? The end is near. Are you ready? Don't say that. Whether wanting children or not, and in an exclusive relationship, it's still comfortable to know at least your partner's child is also yours. No surprises here. That's cute. And he's got this little... Oh, he was interacting with an evil sim. When were you interacting with an evil sim? Oh, he's really happy. I think he's really smitten with her. I wonder if they have any sentiments yet. Aww, deeply connected and smitten and they have a child together. That's really cute. Good on them. So while Zakia is just hanging out, resting her feet and having some food, I've got Paul on cleaning duty. He's cleaning up the bath and I'm also going to get him to do his homework for uni. Wait, what? Miss me? Do you have a girlfriend? Oh, I won't be able to check. Okay, let's go to work. <laughs> Daily experimentation. Welcome to Future Sims Labs. You'll be quite busy conducting essential experiments. Oh, this is just the regular one. Okay, so nothing interesting is happening today. Um, we have to go chat with this robot for a while. So we'll come do this, brainstorm, and invent the Hoover lamp. Okay, we can do that. Why not? So I'm just having a look, and the chick that called... Um, Paul earlier to say you miss me they don't have any romance so I'm not really sure what that was about hopefully she was just saying do you miss me as a friend so nothing to be concerned about there all right Zaki has done a few things this morning um because she's got a baby on her bladder oh she likes rocket science yeah perfect she's gonna need to use the loo a lot more than usual so I'll have to get her to come and take a toilet break quickly but before she starts anything else you can start working on the rocket now smelly Perfect. And she needs to make the rose serum, which means we need a rose. Um, I'm going to get her to open up these seed packets to try and get one. She didn't get any from that seed packet. All right, she's finished in the loo, so I'm going to come and grab this um, Alice. And we're going to say, we're going to ask her for a medal because we need to do that for our job. And I'm also going to see if she'll give us a DNA sample. I have a feeling she's going to say no, but we'll come and try anyway. Oh, uh, she said no to our DNA sample, or to give us one. That's okay, no worries. Okay, so we've done everything we need to do today. So again, I'm going to come and get her to come and dig some of these. We can't actually make any of that rose serum because we don't have a rose. So we'll have to source one before we come into work next time. Do you consider yourself being really close to me? Yeah, of course, Paul, you're my boyfriend. And we're having a baby together, so I would hope so. Hi, Zakia. Let's go on a date soon. I think that would be good for us. Okay, we can go on a date. No worries, Paul. But I'm at work right now and I'm very pregnant, so <laughs> you're going to have to wait. We have a lot of time to waste this afternoon at work by getting some of these crystals and medals. So hopefully, hopefully Zakia can pick up as many as possible. Here she comes. Confident walk around the side gate. Her day's ending soon, so hopefully she can grab a few more of these. A lot of them are chests, which is really annoying, but that's okay. Come on. And there's time. Zakia did a fantastic job today, but no promotion for us. That's okay. Let's head home. All right, Zakia is back home from her work day. I'm going to get her to send everything off to the Geo Council before she does anything today. And while she's doing that, I want to get um, Mr. Man Paul to do some of his homework. And he's also got an exam to do as well. And we'll open up these chests that she dug up as well. I don't think there's going to be anything interesting in them, but we'll have a look. 
So Izakia and Paul are just at having dinner together. They're actually just um, having a bit of flirt over dinner. Oh, what are you being evil about, miss? Ask him about his day and see how his uni is going. We've got a little whim here to kiss Paul so we can give him a kiss, but he's busy with his homework at the moment. So for our aspiration, we need to use a computer to cause mischief three times. So she's trolling the forums right now over here on her little laptop in her bedroom. I think I'm going to have to move her computer somewhere separate. Um, fairly shortly and maybe even expand the house a little bit at the moment it's okay because we have got two rooms but once she has a bunch of science things in her house I think we might need to build like a basement or like an upstairs area to keep it in because I do want to display everything she gets from work okay so Paul how is your uni going you did 25% of your homework but not 100% of any of it come on if you can't prove to me that you can focus on your uni work and get it done I'm gonna just get him to quit he's only three of 12 so I am tempted just to get him to join that career anyway oh so Paul's invited his uni friend around they must be having some sort of homework date so we can ask him to come in and hang out for a little bit did you finish what you needed to do no, nah, you needed to use the toilet, didn't you? Oh wait, she did. She completed the second level of the Chief of Mischief aspiration. So now we just need to pull 10 pranks and achieve level six of the mischief skill. What is our current? Only level three. And we also need to get up our logic skill too. Oh, we have a baby on the way. I thought we'd be a little bit further along by now, but that's okay. Let's come and read level two of the logic. Hopefully that can build some of our skill up tonight. Okay, Suzaki has just taken herself to bed. Um, she must be pretty tired after the long day she's had at work, which is all good. She can do what she needs. All right, Zakia is up this morning. She must be in trimester two now. Um, let me just have a little bit of a look. Oh, she is. Today is beach day, so I think we're going to go to Solani to hang out. Um, once Paul has slept in for a little bit longer, we'll get him up as well. I also feel like we're going to need to add a second bathroom onto the house at some point because we've only got one bathroom and now there's two people in the house. Hey Paul, I thought we, I could celebrate with you today. Do you mind? Um, we kind of do. We're going to go out, but that's okay if you show up, I suppose. Zaki is getting her mail before we head off to the beach today, which means we've got some elements in here. Let's come and see if any of these fit. That one does. Yay, okay, so we've only got two left to get and I've sold the remainder for some money. These two are in here having a chat, but we're going to actually go on a little bit of a beach trip today. So let's travel. All right, we've arrived at the beach for beach day. This is obviously a renovated lot and look how freaking cool it looks. There's this little indoor area. Wow, you can come and make some friends up here or cause some mischief, couldn't you, Zakia? Oh, she's just chatting to Paul for now. I'll get these guys to give themselves... A little bit of a kiss and stuff that obviously feel in, in a suggestive mood okay so for beach day we need to have some water fun so let's come and skinny dip together why the hell not there's no kids there look at these two. <laughs> oh no everyone in our group is skinny dipping and then donald's just like sunbathing in his full clothes of course you are donald you absolute weirdo let's pry let's apply some sunburn protection because the last thing you want is to be pregnancy uncomfortable and sunburn Paul, please don't walk into the water in your full clothes. What are you thinking? There he goes. He's in his swimmers now. Zaki is going to do f go for a streak so she can tick off this little streaking action over here. All right. She's going to blow one of these conch shells uh, with her butt, apparently. <laughs> Why don't you change into your swimwear? Paul's making some enemies in the water because he's mischievous like Zakia, so I'm not surprised. We'll get him to come and light this fire. And is there a barbecue that we can cook anything on? Okay, it's barbecue up here. Um, I'll get him to come in, br grill some fruit so Zakia can come up and have some after she's used the loo. Alright, these two are having a serving of some grilled fruit together for some lunch. I hope they're enjoying their day. Zakia's really smelly, but I think it's just the pregnancy hormones. I'll get her to apply some deodorant. Oh, she's really happy about being pregnant. Good for her. Cute. You guys are so adorable together. <laughs> Ooh, the romance festival's in town. Okay, we'll go there. Why not? We'll bring Paul. <laughs> Okay, these two have ended up at the romance festival, which means, Zakia, you can now change your outfit. I want her to spend some time being mischievous to some people, but also spend some time with Paul. So we'll come and pull some sakura tea together, pour some, and then I'm going to come and talk to 
the romance guru, guru as well and if she says anything bad about us to us about our relationship i'm gonna start pranking her i feel like that's only fair okay so she's asking the guru now about her current relationship she's like do you is it love guru's looking at her belly like oh crap <laughs> Oh, Dixie was adopted. Okay. A match made to last the ages. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, good job. Good job going on a date. We don't care. Where is our Paul? He's over here. Why don't we come and give him a kiss? We're probably really happy to hear about... Um, let's declare a heat of the moment passion. We're like, oh my god, guess what? We just went and spoke to the relationship guru and she said we were meant to last. And I think Paul's probably like, oh, that's wonderful to hear. We've only been together a few months now and we have a baby. Well, almost. It's going to pop very soon, but that's good to last. He's probably like head over heels as much as she is. And I think these guys are kind of like hopeless romantics in a sense. And I know it's way too soon to be doing anything crazy but i am gonna get paul to do a heat of the moment proposal i think he's gonna say to her hey zakia like everything in our life has come to this moment and i think i would be absolutely crazy not to ask you to be my wife he goes he's gonna say to her i want to have a long engagement and you know if things don't work out it's just an engagement but i want to give you this ring as a promise as a promise that will be that I'm going to one day marry you and be here for our child. And she's gonna say yes, and I don't know if it's the flirty tea talking or what, but these guys are now officially engaged, obviously. <laughs> They've been li living together for a few months now and they didn't really know each other too long before um, having a baby, but I think they're very hopeful that things will work out for them. So he wants to put a ring on it because she's obviously carrying his child and he really, really loves her. So I'm not gonna get them to, I'm not gonna get them to have any sort of wedding for a while because I think engagement is a strong enough promise. Um, and it's still early days, but these guys are now officially engaged. How cute's that? All right, I think we can head home from the romance festival now. Let these guys simmer down. Okay, these guys are back home now. We're gonna, I'm gonna get Zakia just to sort out her needs and then I'll get these guys who woohoo in bed because they obviously wanna celebrate their engagement. Uh, but then after they do that, I'll get them to head straight to bed and I'll check back in in the morning. I'm literally about to get her up, but look at these guys cuddling in bed. They're so cute. Oh my goodness. Too bad she has to get up to pee. Okay, so Zaki is up at 5.30 this morning. I'm going to get her to serve some breakfast for everyone. I'll make some fruit salad because it's fairly cheap and we want to obviously save some monies for a bit of a renovation. Oh, never mind. She's going to eat this. No, put that down, please. All right, Paul is going to get up and come and take a bath and then come and grab some salad as well. I think he probably is thinking he wants to do something nice for Zakia. In the last episode, I did cut it out of the footage, but maybe not the last one, the one before when we were at the park doing yoga. She was talking to a bunch of dogs and I have a feeling that she's sort of a dog person. So I'm tempted to see which dogs are available to adopt. I might, adopt. I might not get one um, at this point, but I think it would be cute just to have a little bit of a look and see what dogs there are so can we adopt a dog or view some dogs please okay so i want to get her a big dog i think and i'm not really keen on a puppy because that's a fox in <laughs> a jumper um i'm not like that keen on a pumpy puppy because they're kind of annoying Maybe she's like a Dalmatian person. I kind of like these two. Let's bring them over to have a look. Okay, so there's a little Dalmatian here. Let's have a little chorus. Ooh, I really don't want a violent dog because we're about to have a baby. Okay, look, I think a troublemaker is okay because um, we're obviously troublemakers. We like mischief, so I'm going to adopt this puppy here. Okay, we'll take her. All right, it's a female dog, so I want to see what other names. I like the name Minnie. I think that's really cute. It's kind of like minty mini okay wonderful hey why are you fighting with alex okay i have no idea why they are hating each other so much but alex is supposed to be like our good friend so laszlo keeps calling us maybe laszlo will be our best friend <laughs> okay now that we've adopted mini we're gonna have to buy some pet stuff 
which means I'm also thinking we should probably expand the house and actually make a study or something. So I'm going to quickly nip into Cass and just see if we can add like a second bathroom and maybe we can add some other extra little things if we have the money for it. All right, so I'm pretty sure I ended up going into build and bide mode just to get some dog stuff, but I ended up adding a whole second floor to the house by accident. Um, so <laughs> I moved the living room and the main bedroom upstairs and the computer and added a second bathroom. And then downstairs, I moved the kitchen and the lounge room over to the side of the house and upgraded the bathroom slightly by putting in a shower bath and moved the kids room. I think I probably will fiddle with it a little bit more, but I pretty much just wanted to put in what I needed to put in for now. And we've only got 35 simoleons left. I also wanted to move these stairs so they were against this wall. I don't know who you are. Oh, is this Henry? Yeah, you can come over. Um, but I couldn't figure out how to do that. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to have to do there. But for now, I am going to end this one here. Um, in today's episode, obviously, we got a little puppy, Minnie, and Zakia found out that she was pregnant. She also told Paul, and these guys are now actually engaged and living together. Paul very nicely brought over his money, which we turned into a house renovation. So in the next episode, the house may look slightly different. It definitely will, because I'll need to put a roof on it at the very least. Um, so it probably will look slightly different, but for now, this is what we're sort of dealing with. I really want to fix it up slightly, but I didn't want to spend all my recording time doing it. Uh, but if you did like today's episode, please don't forget to like this video and also subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Um, in the next episode, Zakia will definitely be having the little baby boy or girl. I'm not sure what it is yet. As I said, I'm really hoping for a boy because I've got a boy's name, but for a girl, I don't really have any names at the moment. So can you please comment some girls' names down below just in case? Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Bye.